Hello everybody, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Biffa. Thank you very, very much for joining me. So, what have we got going on today? Uh, I'm just doing a bit of sweeping up, putting some moulding in up here to try and brighten this up a bit so these dead plants don't depress the people too much. Um, we have discovered a new planetoid. They've been working away on here. Gossman and Punk, I think, comes up from time to time, if I remember correctly. But Barkazon has been discovered, so let us have a look at our star map. Aha! So this is the planet we went to before, Trevino, but Barkazon. What do we know about Barkazon? Um, idyllic location, balanced variety of life-sustaining resources, aluminium volcano, gold volcano, uh, space biome, tundra, so very cold, barren, got forest so we can get lots of wood, got marshy, metallic, radioactive. Mm, interesting. So, oversea planetoid, and at the moment, that will be completely dark. <laughs> um, can we sneaky sneak a look at anything in here with any of the menus? I don't think we can. No, but there we go. We've got Barkazoid. So, let's go back to Uzilla. So, that's fantastic. Uh, we've got nearly got these all hooked up. And I've just sort of rejiggered my wiring a little bit just to give this wire up here more things to look after. Nothing major. It's, um, yeah, this one down here with the food. Oh, this is like our main one with the food. Just never seems to fill up. I'm just wondering whether to have our food on these ones because we know they will always work. Anyway, we'll just see what happens um, next cycle with these guys down here. So... What are we going to do? I would... Oh, uh, yeah, a couple of things. I turned off the auto bottling. I'm a banana. I've had that on for so long. I don't know why. Um, and, yeah, we want to get a rocket up here. So, let's have a look. We started putting these pipes in so we can get carbon dioxide up here. So, I'm imagining a carbon dioxide engine will be the first thing we need to do. Let's pop that on a 7 and build that out of cobalt. And I'm imagining someone's going to come up here and just do that for us. So that'll be an engine. And then what I would like to research is some uh, things that we can send over to our new planet. So if we just look at rockets. Uh, we've got that one. One of these gives you the ability to send over a robot to another planet. Oh, and here it is. Deploys one rover bot for remote planetoid exploration. Aha. So we are going to research that and get that going. And, uh, yeah, hopefully they'll get this built for us as well and finally get this unreachable build. Why the heck is that unreachable? Can they just not do it through there? Oh, well, that's annoying. Um, okay, let's just dig out some stuff over here and we'll sort of close this off at some point anyway let's just build we'll build a room out of this there we go and then we'll get a bit more hydrogen coming up here do you know what i'm going to dig all of that out yeah because i want this to finish here unreachable build and we'll get some ladders in here as well can i just sort of pop these so we'll take out that one take out that one and go that one there and they should be able to reach everything then shouldn't they yeah, okay, we'll leave them to do that. So that was something else. And then also, I keep seeing people talking about the schedules. And, yeah, that is something I've never sort of done. But having the schedules separated a bit. So you've always got somebody working. Oh, I want to just check my power uh, while this is going on. So 1,600 watts for all of those. And the one connected to my food. That is filling up ever so slowly. Those batteries are all filled already, which is good. These ones are filling. I could probably turn some of those off. Yeah, I think give it a uh, give it another cycle or two, and we'll have plenty of plenty of power. Won't be a problem. Yeah, good. Okay, okay. So not knowing, I, I don't really use the schedules much. I understand how they work, but I've got four schedules set up: one, two, three, and four. And what I've done is I've just shifted everything up by one and i've added an extra slot of downtime because my understanding is is the further they need to go in the base they're using up their downtime traveling all the way back and they're not getting enough time to get food so that's why we keep getting the starvation thing popping up 
Um, and our problem with the power means we're not getting food made. So that's why our food's become a problem. So, and also with this schedule, we've got 12 people. We've only got uh, two toilets, two showers. We've got beds for everybody, but we could take some of the beds out. So what I'm going to do is put three people on each of these four, and that will cover our 12. And then we could start taking more people. So let me just pause it there. Um, I'm just going to spread these people out, the first three on this one, the next three on there, and see how that goes. I might jiggle it around as we go on, um, depending on what jobs people do. Yeah, but let me just do this anyway, and I'll be back with you. There we go. So there's now three on each. They're all offset by one. I'm pretty sure this is okay. They've got a bath time. And uh, three downtime, three sleep. Bath time, three downtime, three sleep. Bath time, three downtime, three sleep. Bath time, three downtime. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we're going to go with that. It might take them um, a couple of cycles to get used to that. But hopefully that will be okay. And <laughs> this one here still just does not get enough power, which is very annoying. We'll turn that one on and I'll take a look at that. But overall, I think that is going to help a lot. Um, the other thing that was mentioned is about this being really close to the telescope. I'm going to move the telescope over here anyway. Um... Oh, they're nearly finishing this. Fantastic. Is that all closed off? Yes, good. So I'm going to move this around a bit. What is going on in here? Lots of hydrogen. Excellent. So that's going to give us some extra power. And what I might do, as this one is struggling, is I might just put my coal power one on here. Just to keep this one going. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay, so we've hit the downtime. Brandon here. Has got enough time to grab some food. Come and sit down. Let's make sure he's got enough time to finish his sandwich before the time ends. Well, we might need an extra bit of downtime. If not, let's just speed that up a bit and find out whether he finishes that whole thing. Ooh. Yep, he's fine. Didn't like it, though. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to work. A lot better. I've just rerouted my power as well. I've put the solar panels, uh, filling up these batteries here and doing the food and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully that will just uh, build up over time. Yeah, so that's looking okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we'll keep an eye on that and these other cleaning and sweeping jobs as well. And we'll be back in a sec. So now this is making me think we can start taking some more people in. Because we're going to be more on top of things. Although at the moment our food is quite low. So I'm going to leave that printing pod one. Just to make sure we get on top of our food situation. But yeah we can start sharing the beds. Sharing the mess tables. Sharing the showers. I do want to increase this and add a couple more showers. We've got so many things going on at the moment. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. And then what I'm just doing here is just adding in a little liquid pump. Um, to get rid of this water every time it fills up. It's becoming rather annoying having this all melt and come down here all the time. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. There we go. And there's not much room here. I was going to set up some sort of sensor, but that's going to come down here and get filtered. I had a few comments about this being back to front. Um, it isn't. Clean water's going in. Dirty water's coming out. It goes along this pipe here. Look, you can see it. Dirty water, dirty water. That's going to join... In with this that will go through here get filtered dirty water drops into here anything clean which is coming from this one will go along in this pipe and go into our water system which is our tanks and all that sort of thing so it's working fine i don't know why there's been complaints <laughs> about that but there we go we'll just leave that going our oh, food's gone up food is rising the batteries connected to the food things going okay Let's have a new one. Let's have Otto. He's got eight piloting. Why not? And Otto is going to be named after one of my lovely patrons. Otto is going to be named Ford. So welcome to the base, Ford. Come and jump in. Get settled in. We'll give you some work to do. It says not enough beds, but I'm hoping you're going to share beds with others. If not, we will build you another bed. We've got plenty of space up here. So that's fine. All oh, research. What have we got? Artificial Friends Rover Module. Okay, let's have a look up here. Has our rocket been built yet? No, because there's so much going on. <laughs> They're not able to do all the things all at the same time. Okay, we'll keep them working on that. Oh, that's good. Pump not in liquid. So I don't need to do anything. It'll automatically just stop pumping when the liquid's gone. Oh, fantastic. That works out just great. 
And that'll stop this happening over here. Look, the constant running of liquid <laughs> into this room, which is just not good at all with all of this stuff melting. It's just the way it goes. Anyway, I'm sure they'll deal with it fine. Now, something we do have access to is chlorine over here, which it's been suggested to me that I could pump that into this area here. So when I change this germ-ridden dirty water into clean water, it would be stored in these tanks and yeah then it would be nice and clean when it gets pumped through my system now that is a very good idea i am thinking of definitely doing that because we could just close that up and fill this up uh, but there's so many things that need to be done at the moment i think we'll just let these poor dupes run around getting on top of all the jobs that we've asked them to do and then we will work on that but that should be quite easy because we can dig in at the top here there's hydrogen um if it all escaped, yeah, I've got to be careful. I'll probably put a couple of doors. We only have to go in once. Put a pump or something in there and pump it all out and then we'll be good to go. Oh, we're talking of schedules. Ford now has his own schedule. And maybe we'll have a couple more duplicates in. I'll see how he gets on without a bed. Whether he will use somebody else's bed. Where's Ford? Let's keep an eye on him. Yeah, and see what he does. I'm also going to give some priorities because he is skilled in certain things. Let's have a look. Ford. So, rocketry, tidying. Oh, he's coming up to his downtime. He's going up here to do a job. Ah, but now it's downtime. Excellent. So, let's just make sure he gets enough time to come back. Because he wasn't actually even all the way to the top, was he? Yeah. He should be fine. Is he going to get time to eat as well? By the time he's washed his hands. I hope so. Or it might be that they need an extra downtime. Yeah, he didn't sit in a chair, though. He didn't have time for that. Didn't like the food, but he got some. And where's he gone? We've lost him. Ford, come back. There he is. I want to see if he's going to go and share someone's bed. He's still actually eating. No, he's going to sleep on the floor. Okay, maybe that's one thing that they can't share is the beds then. But I'll sort you out, don't worry. Ah, I think I've realised where all this is coming from. I bet we've got ice stored in here, haven't we? Ah, oh, that would be a right pain in the backside. Ice. Crushed ice. Polluted ice. Okay, that is why that keeps leaking. At least when it does leak and gets mopped up, it then gets deposited. Well, it'll be in there if it's nice clean water. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Where's somewhere that's quite warm? Oh, look at the temperature of our base. Nice. Nicely warming up. That's good. I might just pop all of that in a container in here somewhere. Is there any reason not to do that? Uh, the temperature of the water there is okay. 9.9. .9. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll put a couple of storage bins, maybe just over here. And we'll keep all our ice in there. Ah, I knew there was something going on there. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, our rocket engine's been done. Excellent. So we can start pumping into here. There we go, our carbon dioxide. So what did we use here? It was an insulated gas pipe, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. So let us build that. Um, and we could just have that run up and go into there. I guess that's fine. What does that mean? Must be built in unoccupied spaces. Can that not go in like that? I'm going to do that anyway. Cancel those two. And just see what that says. Yeah, that should be okay. And then on top of that, I'm going to add, uh, we've got the rover module. So we can get a rover bot to go on another planet. So I'm going to pop that in on an 8 as well. And then on top of that, um, I don't think we need the nose cone that holds a duplicate. I just want to send a rover over there. So is there a nose cone that I can use that will just finish off the rocket? Uh, basic nose cone. Yes. That is the one I want. So we'll do the research on that. Uh, yeah. We'll do the research on that and yeah. See what happens once we get it. Okay. These are done. So I'm going to add into here uh, liquid fireball. Let's have a look. Snow, polluted ice, ice, crushed ice. That's going to be on a nine. We'll copy the settings. Pop that on there. 
And then hopefully, where's my other storage? These priorities are actually a seven. I'm wondering whether they'll just take them over automatically. I hope so. We'll see how that goes anyway. Oh, look at that. Must be doing something right. Batteries full, batteries full, batteries pretty much full, 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 full. Everywhere is full with the power. Fantastic. Something else I wanted to build up the side here, which we've sort of got on here, is our fire pole. Um, particularly for down this way, because we've got the fire pole down here. So, um, oh, there we go. Picked up polluted ice. Where are you going to take that? I just saw you. Here we go. Are you going to come down here and put it in the new home? You are. Excellent. That is what we want to see. And do you know what I might do is just actually empty out from these ones and just get them to do a, a big sweep. Yeah. Let me do that. Let me just drop it all. There we go. Copy those settings. Zip. Actually, it doesn't look like there's too much left anyway. <laughs> so that's good. And we'll get them to move it all. Aha! Now we have someone else. And we can get extra strength for supplying. Which, oh, I don't know whether at the minute we're still hovering around the food being a possible problem. Let's get the joyous seeds. Yeah, we'll print those instead. We'll take it easy on having too many new people. What does the joya seed give me? Let's have a look. Jump in joya. Decorative plants, make gardeners jump for joy. Oh, okay, that's quite handy. Worth keeping that in mind. Very good, very good. Right, I'm going to clean this out down here. It's really just getting in the way. I am just going to pump it all over to there. Oh, what have we got? Utilities. Sweepy's dock. Uh, an automatic sweepy bot to sweep up solid debris and liquid spills. What? 240 watts. Do I have to build a Sweepy? Or does he automatically work in that? I've not seen these before. Sweepy. Critters. Look at that guy. I have seen these before. Domesticated Sweepy robot. Oh, fantastic. Will automatically launch a Sweepy. So it looks to me like he comes in the dock. Let's just have a look if there's any other things you need to make. Artificial friend, Sweepy's dock. Well, wow, flipping heck. I want to make a sweepy dock. Uh, it takes 240 watts. Let's see which of our lines is... Uh, that A huge load, possibly, but not very often. <laughs> this one here, potential load, not a lot. So we can add him onto here. So this here is going to go. So let's deconstruct that. And how big is it? Hopefully we can fit it in there. Uh, let's have a look. Sweet dock. Yeah, that can fit right in there. We've got the stuff to make it from as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wake up! What's the top? Oh, it's... Oh, yeah, it's the shifts. I forgot about the shift work. I think, Why are you still in bed? What are you doing? No, it's okay, fine. You stay there. I said you could go to bed, didn't I? Thank you very much. We'll pop this guy in here once that's gone. There we go. Research complete. So we're working our way up to our stuff that we want. We've got metal tile. We've got the metal refinery. So it's automating basically what this machine does over here. Very good. Oh, and we've done some more research as well. That was quick. Crash plan. A trailblazer module. Fantastic. So let's have a look. How's our rocket doing? For some reason, we're overflowing all the water here. Unreachable mop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they can't get to build these because of the oxygen. What's happening here? Oh, it's just taking so long to fill up. That is rather annoying, but we'll leave that going. I think what's happening is carbon dioxide is turning into liquid. And it's filling up this bit here. So we've got water and carbon dioxide. And then it's overflowing. Not the end of the world. Oh, here we go. But, yeah. So we've got to make a sweepy, have we? Sweepy dock. Deploys a sweepy sweep up solid. I hope you can go up and down ladders. And then we'll empty the dock storage into available storage bins. A lot of heat. Hey! Look at that! So what's his... Um, let's just slow this down a minute. Oh! This is sweepy. We can... Oh darn it! Cannot travel over gaps or uneven ground. 
So have I built them like a really rubbish place? <laughs> Let's see. No, look, he's got to the end and he's like, no, nope, I'm not going over that. That was like the worst place to build a sweepy, wasn't it? Um, okay, uh, there's obviously better places that I can build him. Sorry, sweepy. It was fun while it lasted. But I'm going to take a picture of you. And then I'm going to deactivate you. Goodbye, sweepy. So I basically want this pipe here to connect to this input. Because that's got a nice filter on it. So um, it's going to be a bit of a mess, I'm afraid. But we're going to go up and over here. So let's go that. And then we're going to go up and over there. And then that's just going to go up and into there. Yep. It's, uh, it's temporary anyway. So just have to deal with it. Um, also, it means we're going to have to deconstruct that mesh tile. And we're going to have to build some ladders. We'll just do every other one just so you can get in there. And then we'll clean this all out. We'll make these guys have a nice bigger room. And it just gives us more space. We can start getting down into all of this area down here. Fantastic. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Are these guys going to escape? That could be a problem. That could be a problem. I'll tell you what we could just do is quickly whack a door in there. Yeah, and hopefully they won't escape. Eek! And there we go. That thing gets pumping, gets all that nastiness coming out. Just make sure that's working okay. Yeah, that's going to go through the filter as well. Excellent. And then that will get spat into here. All the clean stuff will go over to there. Cool. So once that is empty, we can sort of dig all this out. Help these guys. Which will, these, This guy's probably going to die. But <laughs> we can start digging down into here and start clearing all this out. Get into our cool salt slush geezer with our brine. And there is a machine that can actually separate the brine, the salt out from the, there it is, desalinator. Or scrubber, desal remove salt from brine or salt water producing water, which is fantastic. So I might just, are we researching anything else at the moment? No, we're not. Uh, well, leave that for now. I'll keep them, let them keep doing what they want to do. We could also dig this out down here and let this go into there that might be an idea as well let's do that oh just fixing one of my pipes here uh, one of my wires here that somehow has turned into a small one instead of a big one we'll fix that up and i've got no food calories available zero i am a little bit concerned everything was growing really really well We've got a load of these all in here. They've all got grub, grub, rub, and all that sort of stuff. But we've got no food. What the heck is going on? Okay, I think in the short term, we're going to have to get some mush bars going. Uh, enable that. Get those going super quick. And then we'll put mush fries back on the menu. Yeah. I don't know quite what's gone on there. This has kept us going for so long. Whether something has been changed in an update or something, I don't know. Will you come and fix that, please? Thank you very much. Get that build going. But yeah, hopefully we can get that sorted reasonably quickly. I could just build another one of these under here once we get all this sorted out as well. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. <laughs> as if nobody dies. Uh, what have they got calories? 872, 71, 69, 66, 65. Oh my goodness me. This could be bad. Okay, I've just upped the priority on all of this to nine just for a few um, few cycles. Just so we can get on top of the food, get the fertilizer going. I just think we've had so much other stuff going on that this has been neglected a bit. So, yeah. There we go. Look, we're getting up now. That's more like it. That's what we want to see. And I'm going to get this to dig this out as well. Uh, let's just uh, vangle this guy before he disappears anywhere. That's good. We'll get this out. And I am going to build another one of these underneath. I might as well. What's the temperature like? Ooh. 32, 33. Yeah, we probably need to cool it down a bit. But that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And the work's still going on up here. Brandon is working away at these pipes to fill up this engine. It takes a while because of having to use these. 
Which is a bit annoying, I've got to be honest. This is quite slow to fill up. I'm just wondering whether to add a second one in or just to not bother with these at all. We could, I think if we put in two... There we go, another one's coming in. I don't think they pick up for one and not pass the other. I don't know quite how that would work, but... And now I've said that, it's filling up quickly and people are using it. <laughs> so, we'll leave that going, we'll leave that going. We've got a new printable. Let's see what that is. I certainly aren't going to take any people. If it's food, that would be great. A shine nymph. Oh, come and join us. You're not going to last five minutes in our base. Good luck. <laughs> okay, look at that. Up to 15,000 already. Good. That's all right. Excellent. Hey, got a new little baby pug slug. Pug, uh, pug slug lip. Excellent. And, yeah, that's good. They're still feeling cramped, but, you know, <laughs> we're getting there. What are you doing, Sweepy? You've got a low battery, but you can't get in. That's fine. I just want you to stop moving around and doing things. <laughs> you carry on freaking out there. I don't mind. Oh, he's been wrangled. Um, let's see where he can go. We don't have one in here. So let's up that to three. And yeah, Sweetles are on there. What have we got in here already? We've already got three in here. Yeah. So hopefully he'll get dropped in here and start. Oh, actually. Oh, he's in there already. Oh, there we go. Sorted. That's fine. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, do you know what I've just realized is I really need to get these in their own little area where they can start laying eggs and things like that because we're just going to run out of these guys, aren't we? Um, they live to like 150 cycles. They are like 120. This one's 140. Hum. I had not thought of that before. And there's probably not a... Ooh, probably not a huge amount of those around the place. So there are some down here. Yeah. I'd, uh, it's another thing to keep in mind, isn't it? I'll, <laughs> I'll definitely keep that in mind. Um, I've got them to come up here and do a bit of dirt digging because, yeah, I can't finish off my farms, which I was going to make a load of these without dirt. I might just. The hydroponic farms also need dirt. Cobalt ore. Do you know what? I'm going to do it with those instead. Ooh! Fertilizer. That is definitely going to come in handy. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that. And I think we've nearly got this done. And then I'm thinking about opening this up as well and getting some water in and out and having this little hot tub thing for giving our bonuses to our people, but uh, as a recreation room. We'll see anyway. We'll, we'll get them to dig it out and we'll see when we get to that. Good, good, good. Do you know what? I'm just thinking of disabling this thing and just seeing whether some stuff on the surface gets done a bit quicker. It's all very nice and everything, but I'm wondering whether people just hold in their breath. Oh, he's going to take one anyway. <laughs> just going to get things done quicker. Because by the time they've done this, messed around, kicked the water off their feet, walked up here. There we go. It's just taking them so long. There we go. Look, he just ran straight past. Come on, Joshua, hold your breath. Yay, now we're going to actually get some of this other thing done. Because they can come up here two or three at a time instead. Look at this. That's good. I want to get this rover module done. And then on top of that, do we not have our nose cone? We do a basic nose cone. We need some refined metal and insulator. What the heck's that? Okay, let's go to the book. Ah, so we've got pretty much everything done here. We're just building this rover's module. I'm a bit confused as to why I can't build that. I'm thinking it might be because this one isn't built yet. So that's fine. We'll just carry on with that, which is good. Um, these are all hatching all over the place. Yeah, flipping it. <laughs> we might try and switch as much as we can to solar power. I think that would be a good idea rather than just relying on those all the time. Can I build one in there? No, so we might just sort of spread this out over here and just have a load of them. Um, but we'll look at that again in the future. The food's going again, which is good. They're just waiting for irrigation. And they can't reach the pipes. Oh, fantastic. I thought those pipes had been built already. That was really good. And there we go. Excellent. So that's all going to tick along nicely. We should get a couple of, a couple of these guys wrangled into here as well, which will help. 
Uh, we do have a grooming station over there. Yeah, I was going to do something with that, wasn't I? I never got around to it. And flipping out, this episode is probably getting really, really long. So I think I'm going to have to stop it there. Next time we come back, we'll get this rocket completed. Oh, look, we can add the next bit. Hold on, hold on. Nose cone. Uh, let me know in the comments below what I'm missing for that. It says research incomplete. I have finished the research for that. So I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure you guys and girls will let me know. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave as well. And I will see you all very soon. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.